what is up guys it's Slobash. welcome back we're gonna play some more kings of glory today and i wanted to go over some more of the other types of battles they had and i did some looking around and i found out in the room version i don't have to really wait on anybody so i want to check out some of these other ones as you see this 5v5 the second one right here notice right there right below all of that you see it looks kind of like little clouds or something well this is the interesting part about this mode I can go ahead and throw some AIs in here. So it's going to be me versus pretty much five AIs with four on my team. And we're going to go with the, uh, I believe his name is Yao. Or How. H O U. How. And let's see. We can select. Let's go ahead and get the execute spell. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up his first ability. Uh, obviously, I can't read it, but I do know it increases the amount of attacks you put out at one time. So basically, you can attack more than one time with this. It, it does like two to three attacks at once. But the main thing about this game, look at the map at the top left. You see, there is actual fog of war on this map. And here's those double shots I was just talking about with that ability does quite a bit of damage to begin with and the guy stays in we're just going to focus him not the minions so all of our minions are down but he's halfway dead so let's go ahead and take him down some more oh he used execute on me but i think we can get him uh he, he's close all right so this right here i have honestly no idea what it does it puts that little thing down i'm not sure if it's a healing attribute or what but that is something completely different i've not seen in the game yet uh second ability for this guy it's like a multiple shot multi-shot whatever you want to call it and let's go ahead and pick up some more attack speed and on this build as well with this guy being ranged and may uh Mostly physical attack. You're probably going to want to have some form of life steal, which we'll eventually build in. I think we're going to kill him right here. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade that first ability because that does a good bit of damage. And another good thing, there's that life steal right there. Another good thing about that ability is it affects your normal attacks. So, as you know, on towers, you can only do normal attacks to it. Well, if you use that ability, is it affects it so you can actually do multiple damage now i'm only level three so i'm not going to do very much damage to it currently uh, the damage does scale a lot better in this game than the others that i've played so far and we're probably going to get into some actual gameplay of the version that looks very similar to it the uh southeast asia version oh he's gonna die again now nah, he ran but we're gonna explore the map a little bit as well let me go ahead and take this one tower down right here if we can. And he, he's, he's trying to get away. All right, we're going to do as much damage to this tower as we can. Go ahead and take it out. Still got hit by that. We're going to go ahead and use a regen. And throw this thing down here. I'm not still not sure exactly what it does, but I don't think it can hurt. If any of you do speak Chinese or can read that, let me know in the comments below what that actually does. All right, if we can get him pushed back again, we'll use his ultimate so you can see it. Watch this. It's very far range. I think we'll literally go all the way across the map. It's pretty cool. All right, let's push back. One more push on that and we're done with that tower. Uh, then we'll walk around the jungle a little bit and kind of help support these other lanes and I'll show you guys pretty much what is left in the game for this map mode. Alright, he's dead. He's dead. Execute. Got him. Alright, so I want to drop down through here. And as you can tell, the fog of war kind of lights up everything around you. Even when you go looking for uh, minions and stuff to fight in jungle, as you can see, they disappear when they're out of the fog. An enemy has been so if you haven't explored it or you're not that close to it, it's not going to show up. Let's go ahead and pick this buff up from this guy. We have one guy. Look at the map right there. You can tell he's going back, it looks like. There is a circle around him. 
So somebody is recalling, it actually shows them going back to the base on the map, so you're actually aware of it. Uh, they've progressed this game so much from the other ones. We just lost that tower there. Let's see if we can't bait a couple of these guys in. I don't have any mana. I do have a regen though, so let's go ahead and use that. And... Ah, uh, he got in the way of it. I was gonna snipe that one guy. He's finally gonna fight back. I'm gonna get back so he doesn't hit me. A little bit of lag there. A lot of stuff going on in the game. But I believe I do have pretty much everything turned all the way up. Now, I'm gonna go back myself and heal up. All right, so we do need to get back to this middle lane. We got this guy pushing pretty hard on it. An enemy and as you can tell, they do a good bit of damage. We'll stun him under that tower. Execute. He's dead. And let's continue on. Let's go help these guys at top lane. Bottom lane looks like it's doing pretty fine. So let's get some movement speed. Shut down. Collect that mana as we move. And this guy looks like he is called. Yes, he is. All right, so gonna help these guys push this top lane. Take this one tower out up here. Try not to waste that one ability so we can actually use it on the tower. But this game mode is actually pretty fun. Um, it's a lot different than the other one as far as the fog of war and stuff like that. This is gonna give me enough time to kill this tower. Though. Nice. Go ahead and help them take these minions out, and we will get back to that middle lane because that guy's still pushing pretty hard on that tower. It looks like he's gonna probably take it before I do get there. He did end up taking it, but we're gonna take him right here. He's got nowhere to go. All right, we need some more damage. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And they're pushing pretty hard on bottom lane as well. So the AI in this matchup mode, they're actually not too terrible. Um, I guess if you could say your teammates are being terrible as AIs, you could. But this guy's dead. And this guy is too. That's a giant scorpion king looking dude. That's pretty cool. All right, double kill. Let's go ahead and pick up this buff right here while we're already here. All right, and let's upgrade that. Hit our heal. And let's catch this guy coming right back down mid. He's going to run right into me. I knew it. And here we go. Quick damage. He does have a stun, though, but we've got... Too much in the arsenal for him to be able to handle. And let's go take a look at some of these other bosses that are in this matchup mode. I told you about the last one, uh, the dragon. And I want to see if the dragon's actually in this one. So I'm going to go right down here where he's at. He should be right here. That's not the dragon. That's actually some weird looking big dude. So let's kill him, see what he does, see if he just gives us gold or what. He's got a little bit of a stun right there. But he doesn't hit very hard. So, as you see level 10, you can solo him. That's pretty cool. That's pretty wicked. Now, I'm not really sure what exactly that did. I don't see anything being pushed out as far as a boss or anything like that. He's gonna die again. I'm sorry, dude. Picking on him the whole game. But I do want to keep an eye on these other ma uh, towers. Bottom. There's only one on bottom. So we need to transfer down bottom and help that guy out. And then I want to go take the boss out up on the top side. But you can see it's the purple looking one. We got him stunned under tower. He is dead. Definitely. All right. More attack power and even more attack power. Let's go. Gonna get that heal right there. I'm gonna kill these guys right here before I do go up because I know this other guy's gonna be coming back through. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. Actually, we're gonna have to kill him again. We know he's gonna stay in, so let's just go ahead and kill him. Of course, it is AI, so I mean, 
you can kind of predict what they're gonna do. But it's a pretty good uh, mode that you can practice and uh, learn different legends before you start actually playing the game itself. So here we go. This is a different looking person. Uh, I've not seen this one. And uh, let's see how well they are. Wow, they do actually a pretty good bit of damage. He's got 43,000 hit points, so that's going to be the raid type guy. Definitely going to have to have multiple people to help kill that. Let's go ahead and take this guy out real quick. And I have noticed the... Uh, the UI using your abilities, it's not as fast. So you have to watch how fast you're actually trying to use your abilities. If you try to hit them too fast, you actually won't initiate the second ability that you try to use. Uh, it's the only thing I have really noticed from this. So checking on this other boss right here again. Let's see if it's the same guy. It is. So it looks like that guy only really gives you gold. And we're going to crash the bottom lane here. We did get a stun on him. Enough damage out. Pick the gold up off of him. And let's go ahead and take this guy out too. Multi-hits right there. Bam, he's dead. Alright, so mid lane does need some help. There's nobody there protecting. And we've got top lane that's got two as well. Not looking too good. Not gonna try to waste my ultimate on him. We can take him out without it. Way we can get this guy. All right, so we didn't have to use it at all. Get some more attack power. And uh, I'm wondering if I can get these uh, guys to come up here and actually help me fight this boss. I'm gonna try to flag it, see if the AI will actually help. So what you can do, you can open the map up and you can hold down on the map. For instance, I'm right here, and you can notify everybody to come here. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna work, but it's a lot different than what they've had in previous games that we've played. Doesn't look like they actually are going to listen to the responses of it. But if you got friends that you're playing with, hopefully they will, and you'll be able to take out that boss right there. Now, I could try maxing out to level 15 and see if we can actually take it out solo. Uh, having that much hit points, I don't think we're going to be able to, but we will definitely try it. As this is only an AI match, and I'm not really worried about winning or losing it. And we're ahead pretty good bit already as it is. Actually, I need to check up on this mid lane before this guy does come back and take out that tower. Looks like bottom is having a little bit of trouble as well. So here he is again. You see, I tried to use two abilities right there at once and that ultimate didn't go off. What is he doing behind the tower? Are you kidding me? All right, you're dead too. All right, top lane, they need help as well. I'm not sure why the AI is having that much trouble with the AI itself. I mean, I was pushing middle lane, not doing anything different. Can we get him? Yes. All right, now we got some regen. Nice. That's going to help out a lot. All right, it does not look like it's 15 the max level. It doesn't look like it. It's still giving me experience, so let's kill a couple more things and see if it progresses past level 15. So 15 is the max. But you can max out the XP bar. All right, so we're going to go over here and try this big boss dude again. No buffs or anything on. But let's try it. Why not? I do got some pretty nice uh, regen. Or life steal with that. Oh, we are going to be able to take him out. I still got my uh, other buff. Or my regen. Nice. So this guy's gonna do the little fall through the ground kind of deal, claw his way up. That's pretty cool. Now, let's see what actually happens. I was looking to see if we get any type of boss or anything from that, but we are losing uh, because we have no more towers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out. He was trying to kill my tower. Stay off my tower, dude. Got another guy here. Let's get to him. Oh. 
Now, as far as this game, I like it a lot better because it seems like even with the basic builds that you see me using, you have a much higher chance at surviving. It seems like it's a lot more well balanced and uh, I believe I'm going to try and show you guys the uh, next version of it, which is the Southeast Asia version. It's going to similarly look like what we've already been playing. And all right, here we go. Now the map is saying red. Okay, there's the dragons. So apparently that guy, if you get, uh, if you take them all out, I guess we had ace them. I'm not sure if you get dragons because of that or because I took out that boss up there. That's uh, going to be interesting to find out. Stunned him with that. Nice. And this should be the game because these dragons, they're not all that powerful as far as hit point wise. But I think they do do quite a bit of damage. So... We got this last tower here. Let's see what kind of hit points he can hold up to with this tower. And we're going to focus the tower. Use that ability. It's down. Take out the rest of this. So he did lose quite a bit of hit points. And it looks like that top lanes needs help. But I'm going to push on this main tower right here. You can end it pretty quick. Alright, it just needs one or two more hits. So those guys are probably going in now. They're probably going to end up killing it. But I want to try to get up here. There's another little boss with a buff. They did end up getting to it. And that is the 5v5 mode with the Fog of War. What do you guys think about this mode? Do you think you're going to like it better than the other one where you can actually see everything? Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions about this game, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soul Bash. You guys have a nice day.